<sighs> it's been a while, hasn't it? So as you all probably know, Era's long gone now because Epic Games decided we're not allowed to have fun. I've been holding on to this footage for a while. Truth is, I haven't really been motivated to make anything at all. But I'm finally ready now. So I dropped Fortnite Season 8 50 times and then it got vaulted. And you're already watching Game 1. Of course, for my first game, I wanted to drop into the volcano, but so did literally everyone else. As with the start of any good Fortnite season, you gotta know I'm starting off with gunning down unarmed people in the streets. But by killing that Zenith, I made a shocking discovery. Where's Siphon? Where did Siphon go? Oh god, there's no Siphon. This is, of course, bad news. Who wants to drink big pot? to get their health. Ew. I managed to hobble away from the volcano with my life, which I guess without Siphon is all I can ask for. Lonely actually decked me out pretty good, and then as the storm started to move, I hopped into what might be the best vehicle this game's ever had. Because of my strategic baller use, I was able to make it to the final circle, even engaging in a few fights, but I never ended up killing any of them. But of course, you don't have to kill people to be extremely annoying. I love the Boombo. And even as the game dwindled to a 1v1, I just kept popping hundreds with the Boombo. But in reality, I didn't really need to do all that, because ultimately, this game ended with my opponent dying in the storm. For my first, and also probably last, game one win. Wasn't expecting that, especially for the first day of a new season, pretty good. Of course, winning the first two in a row is pretty much unheard of. Everyone's dropping the new locations, it's to be expected. Dropped into Sunny Steps Game 3, and it was shockingly uncontested. Personally, I think this location's a little slept on. I think it's pretty good. I did find a little red ninja romping around in the wilderness, though. So naturally, I tried to kill him. They shouldn't be allowed to live. He got away. It's whatever. He can live another day. In Dusty, I ran into a renegade raider that definitely didn't want me to live another day. But even with her spaz and nerd-ass skin, that flintlock pistol can do some serious damage. Season 8 is so good, man. How did they cook on literally every every new item they added. That stylish kill attracted the one that got away, and he killed me. He had seven kills. He deserved it. Out here trying to land at peak again. Hopefully I don't get gunned down immediately. Almost did. I got boxed like a fish by a fish, but he was still terrible, so I killed him. After that, I quickly beamed the prisoner and killed another fish and at me a boombo. With all the confidence in the world, I shot myself to Timbuktu with a cannon, where I immediately ran into the guy who very obviously won tilted, and he killed me, obviously. All right, I'm done with the jungle for now. I'm back to land a polar. I'm sorry I can't go without it for too long. I got withdrawal. Polar Peak treated me pretty well, as always. But what treats me even better is cold-blooded minigun murder. I finished the job with my pump, but it was an emotional support minigun. Made it to the final circle where I fought this man over supply drop. We were both being terrorized by a boombo, but he succumbed to it. Me and one of the other players were stuck at the bottom of a mountain, and I got a lucky shot on him to turn it into a 1v1. Then it was just down to the wire, and once again, the final guy died to the storm. I'm getting pretty lucky with that. I landed Loot Lake in game six. It's a bit different, but it's probably a little bit better for Mats and Loot than before. I got attacked by a few people, but I took them out. As I was running to Storm, I got sniped at, but escaped with a geyser. Then a renegade raider pounced on me. Go back to Arena. But thankfully for me, he got sniped. And not thankfully for me, I also got sniped. I never really get a chance to land happy all that much, so I'm doing that in game number seven. Didn't stay there too long though, because I found a treasure map. With my god tier loot, I was able to slide my way into the top 10, where I spooked this guy so much with my tier 100 power that his game crashed. This was a really Really tight final zone with eight entire people in it. I was surprised attacked while farming wood, but I took him out with my RPG. Then I got killed by someone who's a lot better than me, but that happens a lot, so whatever. Got some just terrible loot out of Polar Peak in game eight. This is awful. Why would anyone ever land here? I don't know why I went for this treasure map. It was way outside the zone, and my loot was already good. It really wasn't worth it. I spent most of the game in the storm, but was able to heal up a decent amount once I finally got out. I made it to the final circle and was put in a pretty terrible position, but with my gold spaz, I was somehow able to win that fight. Now in a 1v1, the last guy is a cute little red ninja. This should be a pretty easy Oh god, my organ! You know what, buddy? Sure, you can have it. In game 9, I dropped at this research outpost in the jungle. Me and my squad used to come here all the time, but it looks like these days it's just me and this guy, who are knocked down to all of three health. I guess he couldn't live with his crimes, though, because soon after he killed himself, and I got the credit. Yay! As with 100 Drop Season 7, the first 10 games were all on the first day of the season. And by this point, it was pretty late at night. I was super cooked, I needed to go to sleep. And because I landed Salty Springs, it didn't take too long for me to be put to sleep, albeit involuntarily. Fish rocked up on me with a baller in game 11, but he wasn't that good. For a second, I thought to myself that I should go and grab a plane, and then I remembered. And then I became a free kill for the Snogops who desperately needs to feel the touch of a woman. Then in Polar Peak again, game 12, I can't help myself. I actually got a little competition this time, which is pretty rare. He used up every single bit of his materials, but he still couldn't beat the king of Polar Peak. I barely outran the storm and spent most of the game trying to get materials and getting periodically interrupted by people out for blood. In the final circle, I got stuck in a quad crash. Sure, for some reason my exit bind wasn't doing anything. Thankfully someone helped me out and destroyed the quad, but then tried to destroy me. I survived to a 1v1 and got a good pump shot on the last guy, giving me the confidence to rocket him for the win. Finally, he didn't die to the storm. Dropped into a surprisingly uncontested Lazy Lagoon in game 13. That's the best Lazy Lagoon. At least I thought it was uncontested until I was busted out of my baller by a bush and fell to my death. You just know I had to wear Peely eventually. It's just unfortunate. Season 8 doesn't have nearly enough banana paraphernalia. <laughs> These people think they fell out of a coconut tree. Unfortunately for them, the only person who fell out of a tree is me. These fools simply live in the context of all in which they exist, and all which came before them. I made it to the final circle, because if anyone
someone killed me, they'd get horribly downvoted. You, kind sir, are unwholesome and are not getting my Reddit gold. Dropping down on a purple spaz game 15, it's already looking very Keanu Chungus. Unfortunately, though, I ran into a sweaty sweat sweat who builds five star hotels in the Leaning Tower of Pisa and the Eiffel Tower. Oh, the, like, God, I can't do this Reddit shit anymore. I played like an absolute potato in this fight. I don't know why. I guess if I was still wearing Peely, I could say I was playing like an absolute banana. Skipping all the way to the end in game 17, the last guy was a pretty big nerd. But it doesn't matter because he couldn't hit his shots to save his life. And I wasn't about to save it out of the kindness of my own heart. You can take that L to go, son. But where'd you get that spaz? The spaz store? I tried to get a spaz from the spaz store and I was shot for it. Can you remember the skin? I sure don't. Sniped a balloon boy in my bow with a bush. Now I'm in a baller bowing more ballooners. Made it to the final circle in my baller. There's two other people left who are very evidently better than me. However, while they were fighting and wasting all their materials, I was moving. In the end, I was on low health, but on top of a mountain with tons of materials and a boom bow. And he was stuck on the bottom with none. I definitely thought it was over for me when I repeatedly failed to edit myself out, but it turns out he had even less health than I did. I find it kind of funny that three out of the five wins I have so far, the last guys died in the storm. I guess it's just the most overpowered weapon I have at my disposal. Ballered my way into the top 10 with no kills in game 20. Though outside of Fatal Fields, my pacifist streak ended with these two quick kills. Now as a seasoned murderer, I was ready for anything this game might throw at me. Except a rocket, huh? Yeah, I left with basically nothing. I'm now considerably less prepared for what this game might throw at me. Though I probably should have been a little bit more prepared because it was literally just a rocket again. Getting hit with more stray rockets in game 21, but I didn't even make second place this time. In game 22, I got rocked up on by 27 people simultaneously. And then they laughed on me. Fuck you. Game 23, I was in the middle of fighting someone outside of Tilted Towers, and then I just got randomly sniped. That's what I get for having the gall to be anywhere near Tilted, I guess. One of my favorite things about Season A is that they added a couple of these bunkers under random houses that I always found really cool. No, oh, please, I just want to live, no! And in game 25, despite being in Shifty, I simply just couldn't handle the power of this man's minigun. Run in default, because I feel like a massive bot. I made it to the top 10 with no kills and almost got embarrassed for the 8th time in a row, but I didn't. I then used my baller to get on top of the castle and obliterate a man mid-fight with my boom bow. The circle was very, very kind to me, and I got a ton of shots off with my bow, even killing one of the two last guys with a random throwaway shot. I did need that siphon though. Then the last fight was extremely stressful. I even ran out of mats, but I still hit the shot I needed to win. In game 27, I just wanted to showcase this bunker that got added to the brick house in Salty Springs. It's new in season 8 and it brings this house from one of the worst in Salty to tied best with the blue house. Salty got extremely salty this game and I just kept fighting man after man until I was left with great loot but basically no health. My only chance for healing was to get siphoned off this guy, but unfortunately he took me down. But at least he suffered the same fate. Slid into the top 10 once again and copped this pretty nice kill with the infantry. But soon after, I became someone else's pretty nice kill. Made it to the end again in game 29, mostly because I hit in a baller. With three people left, I boom bowed this nog ops and stole her spaz. Thank god I can't be in a 1v1 with a green pump. The last guy was a nerd who had some pretty good height, but I was able to find this big pot to get my shield up. I got stuck in the storm a little bit, but thankfully I hit this pump shot in the nick of time to win the game. He called me a bitch on Discord after that. Not my problem if you can't kill me, I am literally free. Why are you here and why are you fighting me? Sure, whatever dude. I needed 50 shields and this red ninja kindly provided them. I got three supply drops right next to each other and a baller, hell yes. And I accidentally knocked my baller off the mountain. Fuck! And now this nerd's fighting me. Typical. I did some really good damage on him. Him, but he hit a good headshot. GG's, I guess. Well, if you can't beat him, I guess you gotta join him. But of course, wearing dynamos never complete without making your game look like a baby vomited on your screen. Does it matter? I still didn't beat him, because literally every single person in this fucking game has not seen sunlight in at least the past six years. Conged my way into the final circle in game 32, and then was intensely targeted by both of the final players in the match. Fantastic! You know, sometimes I think it's good that Era shut down so I don't have to deal with these players anymore. They were genuinely some of the most annoying people I've ever seen. Go away. For game 33, I hopped on EU for the higher player numbers. The ping is horrible, I can kill basically one person on EU, but as soon as I run into someone even remotely better than me, it's over faster than I can blink. I put up a decent fight in game 34, but I rocketed myself. At least he didn't get the credit. In game 35, I got jumped by this red ninja, but he wasn't very good. I thought I had a pretty good chance to win this game, because I was putting on so much damage to the other guy. I had height, full health, and max mats, but I got one pump. He had 10 kills. He deserved it. Whatever. An issue with era that I had towards the end of its existence is that solos just got really hard. And it was definitely a skill issue, but everyone I ran into was just so much better than me, it got kind of annoying. Of course, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, good players are going to be good, but I love Season 8 so much. It's my second favorite season of all time. I would have just liked to have the opportunity to enjoy it more without having to put my all into literally every fight I had. The games just got so difficult. It might have just been this day in a mind block here, I'm on a pretty nasty lose streak, but it really just felt like every single person I ran into was disproportionately better than me. With the exception of the occasional default. Thanks Shifty, if no one got me at least I know you do. At least by landing Shifty I could be pretty confident that I'd make it into the end game, which I did. The final circle was closing around Salty and the best thing to do in these zones is to get on top of the spire, so I did that too. A lot of other people seem to also be eyeing it up because I got attacked, and then in the middle of that fight, sniped. I love Era. Well if there's one way I'm gonna break this 
lose streak, it's landing Polar Peak with JW. Got in a scuffle with a Calamity with a bow, but despite my terrible aim, I was able to kill her. The zone did not move off Polar Peak the entire time, so I was able to hold on to the best position, killing anyone who got in my way. Eventually, someone else took the top of the castle, but I was able to be sneaky and allow everyone else to fight each other. The last guy was way better than me, as is typical, but I moved strategically, got to the ground, and shot him down, killing him in the storm. Finally! It's been such a bad streak of games. NA servers were shut off in game 40, so I had to play EU. Landed Shifty, one of my favorites, as you know. Was able to get a lucky kill with the Plinger, but not without being left hobbling. Went to loot the houses, but heard someone shifting their weapons. I didn't want a chance if it was real or if I was just being schizophrenic, so I just went back to Shifty. Turns out it was a real guy, and now he wants to kill me. He was good at building and editing, and I was struggling hard because it's my first game in weeks and I'm handicapped, but I still killed him somehow. Final circle was closing around Shifty, that's a good advantage for me. A giant nerd landed on me, and the only way I'd win this fight is if I could play smart, because I can't play fast, or if he gets shot down and dies to fall damage, that works too. Now it's a 1v1, and I beamed the other player hard as he was gliding in. Then I just had the better positioning, and he died to the storm. That was the luckiest game of my life, honestly. In game 41, I landed Polar Peak once again and wasn't bothered the entire game. Yeah, this game was super peaceful. I just lived, laughed, loved, and heavily armed myself. Before I even knew it, the game was a 1v1, and the other player was nowhere in sight. I got on top of Stunt Mountain and still couldn't see him. Once he did show his face, the storm was moving very fast, and the infantry rifle is quite precise. I could either get a four in a row or enter Salty, and I'm going into Salty. Probably a very bad idea, but I'm bored, who cares? I picked up a few kills, that one was pretty stylish, and I really don't know what that guy's plan was. It's surprising that there's still little red ninjas running around at this point in the season, but it's always nice to see them. It's a 1v1, and I put some decent damage on the last guy, but the ping's a bad issue, and I don't really have a chance against Mr. 14 kills over here. Some man made the mistake of landing on the crow's nest in game 43. He realized his blunder and donated his life to me. Don't know why I couldn't manage to hit any shots on this red ninja, but he still died and I lived. The pirate that plundered him came for me next, but I took his booty instead. As I was preparing to leave Lazy, I noticed a balloon boy flying nearby. He went down very easily, but he had absolutely pristine loot. Well, now I'm set for the game. I'm just gonna camp in a baller. With three people left, the dude that shat on me last time was one of them, but because I was praying to whatever god that would listen for his downfall, he was sniped. Last guy was also pretty good. Didn't help that I rocketed myself, but nonetheless, I was able to get a few clean shots with my boom bow to win the game. Game 44 was originally gonna be my last game of era before it got shut down, then brought back, then shut down again. So I was debating where to land for what I thought was my last game. Do I want to land somewhere I haven't very often? Do I want to send off an old favorite? Revisit bot country? But nah, I know exactly where I need to be. Polar Peak will always be my favorite location of all time, and I hope that I'll be able to drop here again in the future. So long, old friend. The Season 8 version of Loot Lake is also pretty cool. This default and I traded shots for a while, and we were both kind of scared. Eventually I won though. Final circle, three people left, and I had the best positioning with a boom bow. As the others were forced to move, I was sitting pretty popping shots off on them, and I was very glad to get what I thought was my final era minigun kill. The final fight was a mad dash for the moving circle. We traded places a few times, but I was wearing John Wick for maybe my last time ever, because I don't actually own the skin. But nonetheless, I had a good Fortnite skin on, which means my life was worth more than his in the eyes of God. Big ups to the almost six in a row. Damn you, game 42. Black arts are very funny. So what's my aim? What is happening? Went AFK for a second in game 46 until a red knight came running through Dusty on a quad. I killed him, but who the hell are you? I was too distracted. Whatever. Starting off game 47 hot at Blue Lake. Fought some dude who's way too trigger happy with his edits, but still managed to kill him. I beamed the drift border and hit some good shots, but crouching isn't the same thing as building. Just build. In game 48, I picked up a sloppy kill in Happy Hamlet and then went far out into the zone for a treasure map. Despite cascading down Polar Peak with perfect loot and a baller, my baller was shot out and I died to fall damage before even hitting the ground. What even happened there? What? Don't even know how I got this kill, but I'll take it. Second guy I fought, I got a few shots off on, but he probably would have killed me if it wasn't for him killing himself to fall damage. As the zone closed around Lazy, I penetrated the skull of a man who probably doesn't even have the now very old phone with the infantry. In the top five, I hit a black heart hard with a boom bow before getting embarrassingly no-scoped. And here we are, game 50. I really wish I had more time with Era Season 8, wink wink. Season 8 is my second favorite season of all time. Season 7 used to be a lot further ahead, but after being able to play Season 8 again, it's a lot closer. This season is fantastic in pretty much every way. It doesn't really skimp out on anything. It's very balanced, feels awesome to play, has such good items, and the jungle is such a great part of the map. I really warmed up to it through playing this. My point is that I'm forever grateful to Project Era for allowing me to play this again. But now, let's get one last win for the road. I started off game 50 with some long shots with a deagle. He almost had me, but I was able to pulverize him and steal his sunny D. Skipping down to the final circle, it was closing around fatal fields, and I was absolutely terrified. I camped in the corn for a good while until I was forced to move. My opponent got a few shots in me, but ultimately, my rocket was stronger. And that's it. That's all I have. Season 8 was such a good experience that I really wish I got to play more. Unfortunately, my life was getting pretty busy with the end of my senior year of high school and my real life job that I just couldn't play as much as I wanted to. But I think this serves as a good lesson. You gotta do and cherish what you enjoy. Because you never know, as with Project Era Season 8 and this video, when it might just suddenly end. 
but you also might never know when it might suddenly come back. Yep, Hera came back. See you in part two, I guess, unless Epic decides to sue them into the ground. Who doesn't mention there's a new video tomorrow. I'll see you soon. Stay notable. That's not my outro.